is a ribbon mic? Though often considered their own category of microphones, ribbon mics, also known as velocity mics, are actually a type of dynamic microphone. The other type of dynamic microphone being the moving coil dynamic mic. All dynamic mics, whether moving coil or ribbon, work in the same basic fashion. They're transducers, which means that they're devices that convert one form of energy, in this case the mechanical wave energy of sound waves, into another, in this case an electrical signal or voltage. Both moving coil and ribbon mics do this using electromagnetism, they just do it in slightly different ways. Ribbon mics were first invented in the early 1920s by Dr. Walter Schottke and Dr. Erwin Gerlach, who simultaneously invented the ribbon loudspeaker based on the same technology. Dr. Harry Olson at RCA began developing ribbon mics a few years later, and the first commercially available ribbon microphones appeared in the early 1930s. With a ribbon mic, an extremely thin strip of conductive, corrugated metal known as a ribbon, and usually made from aluminum, is suspended in a magnetic field. Pressure changes from sound waves in the air move the ribbon in the magnetic field, inducing a voltage in the ribbon itself. That voltage is fed into a transformer which steps up the output level. It's a very simple system that results in a natural sound quality that's often said to have characteristics similar to the way in which our ears hear sound. Of course, the way in which a ribbon is tensioned and tuned, its length, width, and thickness all have a huge impact on the sound produced by the microphone, among other characteristics as well. Now, when I say that a ribbon in the mic is extremely thin, I do mean exactly that, extremely thin. Most ribbons range in thickness from 0.6 microns up to 4 microns. Now, to put that in perspective, a typical human hair or a thin sheet of paper is 100 microns thick. So even the thickest ribbons in microphones are only 1 25th as thick as a human hair, and some are less than 1 100th as thick as a human hair. This means that while a well-made ribbon mic is quite robust, most ribbon mics must also be handled with some care. You want to keep them away from blasts, pops, and currents of air, which can stretch or even break the ribbon, which basically ruins the ribbon and means it has to be replaced. And rule number one is never blow into a ribbon microphone. Even storing a ribbon microphone for a long period of time on its side can cause the ribbon to sag. And of course, as with any mic, dropping a ribbon mic may cause damage. But having said all that, the extremely thin ribbon also allows a ribbon mic to capture sound with great detail in the high frequencies and with excellent transient response while still maintaining a full, rich sound. And because of the shape of the ribbon, it entirely rejects sounds coming in from the sides. Air motion from the side of the ribbon does not cause it to move while it picks up sound very well from both front and back of the mic. This gives most ribbon microphones what's known as bi-directional or figure of eight polar pattern. Picks up from the front, picks up from the back, not from the sides. And this allows for interesting mic placement possibilities. For example, you can simultaneously capture an instrument or voice from the front and room ambience from the back. By managing how close you place the mic on the source, you can balance the direct sound versus the ambience. Likewise, two people can speak into a single ribbon mic for an interview one from the front, one from the back. Most ribbon microphones are passive, meaning they don't have active electronics on board. This does make them sensitive to the input impedance of whatever microphone preamp they're feeding. If the preamp impedance is too low, the mic may be damped or loaded, resulting in less high frequency output. But preamp manufacturers have taken advantage of this by offering preamps with selectable input impedance, which can serve as a means to fine tune and shape the response of ribbon microphones. There also are preamps designed specifically for ribbon mics from AEA, Grace, and more, which provide high input impedance and high gain with low noise floor to bring out the best in passive ribbon microphones. More recently, ribbon microphone manufacturers have begun offering active ribbon microphones which incorporate onboard electronics in the microphone itself. This has several benefits. First, the mic's output may be boosted to make it more robust, and the ribbon can be isolated from the preamp impedance to reduce damping and improve consistency of the sound with a range of preamps. Active electronics in a ribbon mic also protect it from damage from phantom power. In fact, active ribbon mics, of course, require phantom power to operate. With passive ribbon mics, phantom power can damage the mic. Be sure that phantom is turned off before you connect a passive ribbon mic to a preamp or console. Now, ribbon mics are far more common in the studio than they are on the live stage. They've become almost industry standard for recording electric guitar amps, particularly when paired with a moving coil dynamic mic. You'll also see ribbons used on brass and woodwinds for strings and even on drums. Those mentioned above, when using ribbons with drums, you do need to be careful of blasts of air that might damage the mic. Best practice is to angle the mic so that the ribbon is at a 45 degree angle if you're making a source that might move a lot of air, such as a kick drum. And of course, who can forget the classic images of Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley singing through a vintage RCA ribbon mic? It's a great sound. Ribbon mics are also popular for stereo miking techniques. In fact, the Bloom line stereo miking technique was designed with ribbon mics in mind. Two microphones with a figure of eight polar pattern are positioned as close to one another as possible with their polar patterns crossing at a 90 degree angle. Mid side miking, using a ribbon for the figure of eight mic, is also a popular application for ribbon mics. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about audio and music concepts like this, visit the news and research page at sweetwater.com or check out the other videos in our Glossary Terms playlist.